Folks, my buddy Rich Cove has asked me how to do a list on a piece of video where, like, say, words will pop up, like a first thing, a second thing, a third thing, fourth thing, fifth thing. And I guess they come up in sequence one after the other. And so I'm going to show you how I do this in Premiere Pro. So I have a Premiere Pro project, and I brought in some video of me talking about blues guitars, whatever. And so I'm going to have titles pop up here to the left and create a list of things. It could be guitars. I should have done something like that, but maybe we will. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to right-click over here in this side. I'm going to say New Title. So I'll pull a title. We'll call this List. Okay. And so I want these things to populate over here. Now, I could just take a box of text here like this, and I could put thing one, thing two, thing three, whatever in this. Maybe you want it to be a little more stylized. You want it to be bulleted. So I'm going to do something a little, little off the wall here. First of all, let's just do this. Let's do the easy way first. I have in InDesign, I've just typed in thing one, thing two, thing three. I'll show you the reason I've done that, though. I've done that so if I want to bullet these. Now, in InDesign, you go up here and click bullet, and you can do this. But when, when you copy this, this little bullet ball here is not going to take. It will not transfer over to, I'll show you. Let me just copy this here. It's a good little tip for you to know about InDesign, too. If you go here and paste this in, do control V, see thing one did not come in. The bullet didn't, right? So I'm going to go back, and I'll go back over here. I'm going, to, I'm going to undo this by clicking up here to take the bulleted list off. And in front of thing one here, I'm going to do an Alt-8. Alt-8. And that puts a bullet there. And that's like a really hard bullet. I'm going to put another Alt-8 here. Alt-8 in space. So these are like bullets. Alt-8 is a bullet in, uh, in InDesign. I don't know why it does that, but it just does. It's kind of a cool thing. I just want to copy, ah, I'm just going to copy that bullet here. Control C, I'm going to copy that and space it's with it. V, Control V, that's paste, Control V, paste. So now I actually have bullets here if I want these. I'm going to do Control C to copy that. I'm going to Alt Tab over to my Premiere, go back to my Premiere. I'm going to do Control V, and there, lo and behold, my bullet, and I hate that font. So I'm going to go to something like Myriad, I highlight the font. I go over here, I'm going to type in Myriad, M Y R, and it's going to pull it up. Myriad Pro Regular is good. I hate it always always defaults to condense for some reason. I'll get a regular. And I think maybe about 60 for the font size. So I typed in 60 here. That's a little small. Let's say 70. There it looks pretty good. So I got thing one here. Now, what Rich wants is he wants these titles to come down the page. Now, folks, you could have just typed thing one in and not put the bullet. I, I kind of get the idea Rich might like to have the bullets. So that's why I showed him how to do that using InDesign. I think he has InDesign. I believe he has the entire Adobe package. So maybe, I, maybe I'm too far that direction. I might pull it over this way. Now what I've done, I've got my template for moving forward with these. So I'm going to say Control-S to save. I'm going to save. So I just, I just saved this title. Now I'm going to go up here to this, which is new title based on current style. I'm going to click that. Now, and we'll just call this thing too. Okay. And I'm not going to uh, go back over and get that. I'm just going to go ahead and click here and I'll go ahead and change the two here, right? Now I'm going to hit, hit Control S again to save again. So I've just saved thing two. Now I'm going to do a new one based on this one. We'll call this thing three. We'll say OK. And I'm sure you're wondering how this is going to work. Well, we'll show you how it's going to work in a minute. So I'll do a three here. I'm going to do a Control Save on this one. We'll do another one. It's going to be thing four. Say OK, and we'll change this to 4, 4, Control S to save, and one more. Let's do thing 5, T-H-I-N-G, 5, save, OK. So we're going to do uh, 5, and Control S to save that title. So now we should have our five titles. we got one that's just called list, and we got thing 1. I should, I should just go ahead. I can, I can retitle it if I want to and call it thing 1. So there you go. You can always retitle these uh, these these uh, these uh, little titles. I guess what they are. So I know what Rich wants is he wants them to stack one on top of the other. One shows up, then he makes a point. Another one shows up. Another one shows up, and the one that's there previously stays on the screen. Well, the cool thing about Adobe Premiere Pro, I'm going to pull this kind of up here. If you grab in between these here, you can you can make space for your editing down here in this sequence window. The cool thing about Premiere Pro is that you can do unlimited tracks here. 
So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have this where I talk a little bit. Folks, tonight I'm here to answer a question. So let's say at this point I want thing one to pop on the screen. I'm going to pull it over here on top and thing one's going to pop up. And maybe I want it to, maybe I want it to be moved over a little bit or something. Well, we'll, we'll figure that out in a second. Let's just see how these, how these work out. I'm, maybe I do want it to fade in though. So I'm going to, I'm going to hover over the left side of my right click. I'm going to say apply, uh, apply default transition. It's going to fade in. It comes in kind of softly there, you see. So let's say that at this, what I want, I want thing one to be on the screen for a long time because the other ones are going to be coming in too. I'm just going to pull the length of it. All you do is cover that over the right edge there and just pull the length of that out. So thing one's going to be on the screen for a long time here as I talk. So let's say now at this point I want thing two to come on the screen. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to touch thing two. Click on it and I'm going to pull it over here. I want thing two to stay on the screen for a long time too, but you see it comes on after this one. So what's going to happen? Thing one's going to come on. And look, thing two's going to come right up over the top of it. And we don't want that, do we? Well, I know we don't. So we're going to click on thing two. We're going to go to effects controls right here. Not effects up here, but effects control right here. So we're clicked on this. We go to effects control. And we're going to go to motion. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull on this one right here. We'll pull it down. So look at this. So I'm going to go down about there. I'm just going to eyeball this thing to where I think that looks pretty good, right? So now what's going to happen is thing one's going to come up and thing two will come up, right? So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to put the default transition. And so you can see what, we're, what I'm working at here, folks. At first I thought this was going to be just this awesome quick. So we want thing three to come on. I'm going to pull thing three on right about here. And I'm going to go, I'm pulling this, this over here so I can see where thing three is. Of course I can see it up here, but I'm going to click on it again. Twirl back over to motion, go to the 540 here. This is the left and right. This is the up and down. So I'm going to go down again. I'm gonna, once again, I'm going to eyeball that. It looks about right, right there. We'll go ahead and do a right click and we'll put a default, default transition. You don't have to have to put the transitions on, but of course you can. And you see these are all just building little layers every single time, right? I'm going to do thing four. I pull it right about here. We're going to cover here, click on it, click twirl the motion down. Again, do this. We'll put thing four right here. And there we go. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to put the right of the uh, right click over the edge here and apply default transition there we go that's looking pretty nice let's go ahead and get thing five of course we got to pull this out the whole way so the reason i'm doing this of course is as long as this is on the screen as long as this is pulled out that's how long it's going to be on the screen so 30 some seconds probably at this point so we're going to pull thing five over ah darn it to heavens there we go grab thing five and then pull it over there we go that's what we wanted to do here's thing five we'll click on it We'll do our motion and we'll do our, our move down on that to right here. So now we've got we got five things, list things on the screen. I'm going to right click on this and do a default transition. Pull that over. And let's say we want them all, let's say we maybe want them all to go off the screen right here. Now I can pull each one of these back or I can do a C, hit, just hit the C key. It turns my cursor there, see it's from, from a pointer. If you click on the V, it turns into the pointer or the direct select tool. But C turns into a cut. So I'm going to go here. It's going to snap to it. I'm going to cut all of these right here. I'm going to do a V key again. Then I'm going to kind of just drag across these and I can delete them. So at this point, all of those go away and I can make them fade out if I want to so they're not so abrupt. So we'll do this, this, this. Um, I'm right clicking and doing a apply default transition. Your default transition could be any transition you want. You can pick your transitions over here. You can pick different ones, but I always just kind of use the cross dissolve. So what's going to happen at the end, these are all going to cross out, cross dissolve out. So let's take a look at what we got. We'll just hit play and watch it happen. Question here. from a subscriber. And at first I thought this was going to be just this awesome question I wanted to answer. And then it's kind of, kind of, I guess, haunted me over the last few days. I'm going to all right, now in a minute, what this guy sent to me. A minute we'll see him fade and out. Just, just, uh, Sweet. And folks, that is the way that I would do it if you had to have a multiple list here of stuff popping on the screen one after the other. Uh, Rich, if this is not what you want, let me know again. I'll do your tutorial again. But this is the way I would do those uh, lists that come on the screen one at a time. There may be other ways to do it. That's just the quick and easy Tony Lee Glenn way. Folks, Hope you enjoyed that. Peace to all who watch. Hopefully it's been helpful. If you have any questions about W Premier Pro, just let me know. I'll do my best to help. Thanks. Uh, subscribe if you like.